just roll There's a lot to live But you got to choose Well, you used to be singing the blues But now I'm singing the news Praise the Lord, friend. Welcome to the Good News Program. I'm your host, Mike Vaughn. And I want to thank you for tuning in today. I've got some good news that I want to share with you. I'm going to be teaching today on the subject of truth. That's right. Oh, <laughs> truth is so important. You know, in our previous programs, uh, I've been teaching about growing up spiritually and about eventually becoming spiritually mature. Well, this is one characteristic that we need to have as a mature Christian, and that is to walk in truth and integrity. Does the Bible say much on the uh, subject of truth? Yes, it does. It has a whole lot to say, and I'm going to be sharing some of those things with you on this program. So I invite you to call your friends and neighbors and remind them that the Good News program is coming on and you don't want to miss it. They don't want to miss it because it's going to be a blessing. Now I'm going to be sharing some songs off of my Songs for Healing and Recovery CD. And this is a selection of about 10 songs that I put together, especially for someone that's recovering from our surgery or from a sickness and, uh, and they are, they're healing and they're recovering and they don't want uh, any fast songs, but they just want a lot of slow songs. I know even in my time of praise and worship, a lot of time, I don't want any fast songs. I just want one slow one right after another to where you just get in the presence of God and soak in the presence of God, as I like to say. And so I'm going to be sharing some songs off of this CD. And the first one I want to share is a song that I wrote entitled Believe. And, uh, and then I'll be sharing some others as we go on. And uh, again, I'm going to make this as a special offer at the end of the program. So be sure and be listening for that as well. So you enjoy this song, this teaching segment, and I'll be back in a few moments to pray with you. Stay tuned. Oh, we love you, Jesus. You are the center of our lives. I wasn't there when he left his throne. This earth and saw I wasn't there when they rejected him and they mocked the Son of God. I wasn't there when they placed the thorns with anger on his head. I wasn't there when they cried. And to the cross he was led But I believe, I believe, I believe Yes, I believe he died for me He washed my sin When the blood ran down from his hands and his feet, I wasn't there to see the pain that he bared for you and me. I wasn't there at the tomb when he rose the third day. 
When he came into my heart And the burdens they rolled away And I believe I believe I believe Yes, I believe You died ministering on what the Lord has been dealing with my heart this past week. And if I would just say it in one word, it would be truth. Truth. In America, 67% of the adults agree that there is no such thing as absolute truth. That's sad. Much worse is the fact that 52% of born-again Christians think that truth is relative. That's also sad. Haven't you noticed the decline in truth in our day? You know, I was watching the last political debate between the two presidential candidates, and it was amazing how many times that uh, they said that's just not true. That's just not true. Did you notice that? One of them would share some facts about uh, what one administration had been doing, and then the uh, candidate would say, no, that's just not true. That's just not true. And then the other one says, yes, I know it is. I, I, I know it is true. Well, for the folks like me that are sitting back there, it's hard for us to know what to believe. <laughs> one saying it's true, and one saying it's not true truth. I remember back when uh, Bill Clinton was in office and how that uh, everybody thought he was a real truthful person. But it was amazing how the camera got so close to him. <laughs> One of those times he talked to the American people and just, just lied with a smile. Said, I had no sexual relationships with that woman. You remember that? Just lied. And it's amazing how well he could lie. And then I think about others like Nixon and Watergate. How many lies that were covered up in that? Most politicians will say anything to get elected or to secure their position and popularity. But then we have... Others that lie, husbands lie to their wives, wives lie to their husbands, children lie to their parents. I mean, it's just something in the, that Adamic nature to want to lie. The little kid, you know, steals the cookie out of the cookie jar. And the mother says, who did that? And the little kid says, I didn't. And nobody else is in the room, you see. Well, what'd the cookie do? Grow legs by itself and walk off? No, there, there's just that tendency there to lie in that Adamic nature. During the 1952 presidential campaign, Democratic candidate Adelia Stevenson said this, 
I will make a bargain with the Republicans. If they stop telling lies about Democrats, we will stop telling the truth about them. In his best-selling biography on Huey Long, how many remember Huey Long? The eminent historian T. Henry Williams tells about the first time that Huey campaigned in the rural, predominantly Catholic southern Louisiana. A veteran local boss advised Huey at the outset of the tour. He said, remember one thing, Huey, South Louisiana is a lot different from your northern part of the state. We've got a lot of Catholic voters down here. I know, nodded long. And so at every whistle stop on the tour, Huey would declaim for openers. He would say, when I was a boy, I'd get up at 6 a.m. every Sunday, hitch our old horse up to the buggy, and take my Catholic grandparents to Mass. I'd bring them home and then take my Baptist grandparents to church. The audiences responded heartily, and the boss finally told Huey admiringly, you've been holding out on us, Huey. We didn't know you had any Catholic grandparents. Don't be a fool, replied Huey. We didn't even have a horse. <laughs> now, that's true. <clears throat> These are seven famous American fibs that you have probably heard in the past. Number one, the check is in the mail. Number two, I'll start my diet tomorrow. Number three, give me your number and the doctor will call you right back. Number four, one size fits all. Number five, leave your resume and we'll keep it on file. Fib number six, your table will be ready in just a few minutes. And number seven, open wide now, it won't hurt a bit. These are famous quotes that have been given on truth. An anonymous author said, that the truth is not always what we want to hear. Another said, when you tell the truth, you do not have to remember what you said. Edgar J. Mohan said, a lie has speed, but truth has endurance. A Danish proverb says, it is better to suffer for truth than to prosper by falsehood. Mark Twain said, when in doubt, tell the truth. Voltaire said, love truth and pardon error. Is the truth really that important? I want you to think about it. Is the truth really important to you? Is the truth important to God? Let's see what the Bible has to say about truth. Proverbs 20 and 28 says, Mercy and truth preserve the king. Notice that. Mercy and truth preserve the king. See, it's not lies that preserves a leader, but it is the truth. A leader may get by for a while. But I want you to know, eventually, the truth is going to come out. How many times have you seen it? I've seen it time and time and time again that eventually the truth came out. When somebody hid something, when somebody concealed something, I mean, we, we see in different things in the news today, things that happen uh, over there in foreign affairs that were covered up for a while, but now they're coming to light. The truth is coming out. Praise the Lord, friend. I hope you've enjoyed that teaching segment talking about walking in the truth. Truth is so very important. First of all, we need to know the truth, which is Jesus Christ. John 14, 6 is where Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. 
And so we need a personal relationship with the truth, and only then can we understand truths, plural. We can't understand the Bible. You know, you can read the Bible, but if you don't have a relationship with Jesus, you, you're not going to be able to understand what it's saying. So I want to encourage you right now, if you have never taken that important step to make Jesus the Savior and the Lord of your life, then I want you to do that right now. You can say a simple prayer with me, but when you do, mean it in your heart. I, I, I really believe that, you know, because if you just say words by your mouth and you don't mean it in your heart, then nothing's going to happen. But if you mean it in your heart, then there's a supernatural thing that happens when a person becomes a child of God. So if you sense the Lord moving on your heart and, and you need, especially if you need a change in your life, then I encourage you to pray this prayer right now. Just say with me, Heavenly Father, I believe in Jesus. I believe that He is the Son of God and I believe that He died for my sins on that cross. I accept that. I believe that His blood was payment for my sin debt, and I receive the gift of forgiveness and eternal life. I commit my heart and life to you right now, Jesus, as my Savior and my Lord. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. Friend, if you pray that prayer, the Bible says, that you are now a child of God. You're born again, you're in His kingdom, and you have a place at His table. That's right. And so I'm excited because I know many have prayed that prayer with me just now. And I want to send you uh, as a way of uh, me rejoicing over you praying that prayer, I want to send you this free little book entitled, Now What? This is just a little book that'll help you get started growing in the Lord. And it'll tell you how to study the Bible and how to pray. And, uh, and it's full of scripture, a lot of scriptures. You can, you can look them up here and look them up in your Bible. And so call me today to get your free little book entitled, Now What? You can call me at 888-429-2280. That's a toll-free call, 888-429-2280. If I'm not in the office, when you call, you can leave your information on the machine and say, I prayed with Brother Mike to receive Jesus as my Savior and Lord. Please send me that book entitled, Now What? And uh, it would be helpful if you would leave a callback number just in case we don't get all your information because sometimes the old answering machine uh, kind of makes a few glitches. And so thank you so much for leaving a callback number in case we need to call you back. 888-429-2280. And I want to share with you about our next concert coming up. As many of you know by now, we host a special concert right here at the Good News Fellowship Church in Tickfall, Louisiana, where I pastor the first Friday of every month. And uh, I'm always singing, and we have a special guest August the 2nd, Shallow Creek Bluegrass Gospel will be our guest group. And then September the 6th, Danny Bishop from South Carolina will be our special guest. So be sure and put those on your calendar and uh, try to uh, make it your best to come out and make one of these because I know that you will be blessed and bring your appetite when you come as well because we always have some kind of good country cooking. We have stuff like uh, jambalaya and fried chicken and pulled pork sandwiches. And we also have concession stand food, food as well, like hot dogs and nachos and all that kind of good stuff. So for more information, you can log on to our website for our concerts at mvmgoodnews.com. That's mvmgoodnews.com. Now I want to share with you my special offer for August 2019, I mentioned it earlier, it's our music CD entitled Songs for Healing and Recovery. Now this is uh, 10 songs of my selection that I put on here, especially for someone recovering from a surgery or from a sickness, and you don't want any fast songs, you just want one slow song after the other. Well, that's what this is. It's uh, uh, just a few of them on here is He Touched Me, Leave It There, and there's something about that name, and I know this will be a help and a blessing to you 
as you recover. Of course, you don't, you don't have to be recovering for something. You could just uh, use it in your time of praise and worship because a lot of time folks don't want fast songs. They just want one slow one after another. And also, when you order this for your gift of only $15 to the ministry, I'm going to send you absolutely free my CD entitled Healing Scriptures. Now, this here is a disc that I read the Healing Scriptures with soft background music. And I'm going to add this one absolutely free. So once again, for your gift of only $15, request Songs for Healing and Recovery, and I'll give you the, the Healing Scriptures CD absolutely free. Call us today at 888-429-2280. Once again, that's 888-429-2280. And of course, if you, if you uh, don't want to call with your credit card, you don't have a credit card, and you prefer to mail a check or money order, you can still do that. Just mail it to Post Office Box 550, Tickfall, Louisiana, 70466. I never like to close the program without saying a special thanks to our partners. Partners, you are the ones that make this outreach ministry possible. And I want to thank you so much for praying for us and thank you for giving financially as you do. You are so generous and you are so faithful. And we want you to know that we pray for you every day for God's favor and God's blessings to be upon your life. Thank you for being uh, such a blessing to us. And if you're watching or listening today and you hadn't become a good news partner, and especially if you've been blessed by the program, and if you would like to see it to continue to come into your home, whether you watch by television or listen by radio, please consider becoming a Good News Partner. If you need more information about partnership, you can call us or go on to our website at mvmgoodnews.com, and we have a partnership page that tells you all about it there on our website. There's many ways you can donate. You can donate online at that website, or you can call us, or you can write to us at the usual address at Post Office Box 550, Tickfall, Louisiana, 70466. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook. If you have access to the computer, then that's the way to keep up with the ministry at the Mike Vaughn Ministries Facebook page. And also you can watch the program on our YouTube page. We have many, many episodes uploaded there and you can watch at your leisure. So be sure and check that out if you have access to the computer. Now I'm going to uh, say a special prayer for you now before I leave you with a song. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for my viewers and my listeners today. Lord, I ask right now that your grace and that your peace would be multiplied to each and every one. Heal the sick and set the captives free by your power and your anointing. And I thank you for doing that in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for tuning in today. You enjoy this song, and I'll see you next time right here on the Good News Program. Sat alone beside the highway begging, his eyes were blind, the light he could not see. He clutched his rags and shivered in the shadows. Then Jesus came. And made his darkness flee When Jesus comes The tempter's power is broken When Jesus comes The tears they're wiped away He takes the gloom and he fills the life with glory for all is changed when Jesus comes to stay
I appreciate your interest in my songs and music. If you would like more information concerning my music or preaching CDs, you can write and request a product list. Send all correspondence to Mike Vaughn Ministries, Post Office Box 550, Tickfall, Louisiana, 70466, or email us at mvmgoodnews at aol.com, and our website is mvmgoodnews.com. Thanks for sharing this time with us today. We hope you have been blessed and encouraged. Remember this program is brought to you by our friends and partners. Pray and ask God what you can do to help us spread the good news. I'm singing the good news.